Evening in England by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo Evening in England From its blue vase the rose of evening drops. Upon the streams its petals float away. The hills all blue of distance hide their tops in the dim silence falling on the grey. A little wind said hush and shook a spray heavy with may's white crop of opening bloom a silent bat went dipping up the gloom night tells her rosary of stars full soon they drop from out her dark hand to her knees upon a silhouette of woods the moon leans on one horn as if beseeching ease from all her changes which have stirred the seas across the ears of toil rest throws her veil I and a marsh bird only make a wail. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Crocknahana by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Crocknahana. On the heights of Crocknahana. Oh, the lure of Krocknahana, on a morning fair and early, of a dear remembered May, there I heard a colleen singing in the brown rocks and the grey. She, the pearl of Krocknahana, 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 wild with girls is Krocknahana, twenty hundred miles away. On the heights of Krocknahana, oh, thy sorrow, Krocknahana on an evening dim and misty of a cold november day there i heard a woman weeping in the brown rocks in the grey oh the pearl of crocknaharna 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 black with grief is crocknaharna twenty hundred miles away end a poem this recording is in the public domain In the Mediterranean, Going to the War by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo In the Mediterranean, Going to the War Lovely wings of gold and green Flit about the sounds I hear On my window when I lean To the shadows cool and clear. Roaming, I am listening still, Bending, listening over long, in my soul a steadier will in my heart a newer song end a poem this recording is in the public domain the gardener by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by nemo dedicated to helen the gardener among the flowers like flowers her slow hands move easing a muffled bell or stooping low to help sweet roses climb the stakes above where pansies stare and seem to whisper low like gaudy butterflies her sweet peas blow filling the garden with dim rustlings clear on the sweet book she reads how long ago there was a garden to a woman dear she makes her life one grand beatitude of love and peace and with contented eyes she sees not in the whole world mean or rude and her small lot she trebly multiplies and when the darkness muffles up the skies still to be happy is her sole desire she sings sweet songs about a great emprise and sees a garden blowing in the fire and a poem this recording is in the public domain. Autumn Evening in Serbia by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo Autumn Evening in Serbia All the thin shadows have closed on the grass. With a drone on the dark wings the night beetles pass. Folded her eyelids a maiden asleep day sees in her chamber the pallid moon peep 
from the bend of the briar the roses are torn and the folds of the woodtops are faded and worn a strange bird is singing sweet notes of the sun though song time is over and autumn begun end of poem this recording is in the public domain nocturne by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by nemo nocturne the rim of the moon is over the corn the beetle's drone is above the thorn gray days come soon and i am alone can you hear my moan where you rest arun when the wild tree bore the deep blue cherry in night's deep hall our love kissed mary but you come no more where its woodlands call and the gray days fall on my grief a store and a poem this recording is in the public domain spring and autumn by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by nemo spring and autumn green ripples singing down the corn with blossoms dumb the path i tread and in the music of the morn one with wild roses on her head now the green ripples turn to gold and all the paths are loud with rain i with desire am growing old and full of winter pain and a poem this recording is in the public domain in greece the departure of persephone by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson old mother earth for me already grieves her morns wake weeping and her noons are dim silence has left her woods and all the leaves dance in the windy shadows on the rim of the dull lake through which i soon shall pass to my dark bridal bed down in the hollow chambers of the dead will not the thunder hide me if i call wrapped in the corner of some distant star the gods have never known alas alas my voice has left with the last wing my fall shall crush the flowery fields with gloom as far as swallows fly would i might die and in a solitude of roses lie as the last buds outblown then nevermore demeter would be heard well in the blowing rain but every shower would come bound up with rainbows to the birds wrapped in a dusty wing and the dry flower hanging a shriveled lip this weary change from light to darkness fills my heart with twilight and my brightest day dawns over thunder and in thunder spills its urn of gladness with a sadness through which the slow dews drip and the bat goes over on a thorny wing it is a dream that i once used to sing from aegean shores across her rocky isles making the bells of babylon to ring over the wilds that lifted me from darkness to the spring and the king seeing his wine in blossom on the tree danced with the queen a merry roundelay and all the blue circumference of the day was loud with flying song but let me pass along what brooks sit the unfree to thus delay no secret turning leads from the god's way end of poem this recording is in the public domain the homecoming of the sheep by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson the sheep are coming home in greece hark the bells on every hill flock by flock and fleece by fleece wandering wide a little piece through the evening red and still stopping where the pathway cease cropping with a hurried will through the cotton bushes low merry boys with shouldered crooks close them in a single row shout among them as they go with one bell ring o'er the brooks such delight you never know 
reading it from gilded books before the early stars are bright cormorants and seagulls call and the moon comes large and white filling with a lovely light the ferny curtained waterfall then sleep wraps every bell up tight and the climbing moon grows small end of poem this recording is in the public domain when love and beauty wander away by francis ledridge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson when love and beauty wander away and there's no more hearts to be sought and won when the old earth limps through the dreary day and the work of the seasons cry undone ah what shall we do for a song to sing who have known beauty and love and spring when love and beauty wander away and a pale fear lies on the cheeks of youth when there's no more gold to strive for and pray and we live at the end of the world's untruth ah what shall we do for a heart to prove who have known beauty and spring and love end of poem this recording is in the public domain in hospital in egypt my mother by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson god made my mother on an april day from sorrow and the mist along the sea lost birds and wanderer songs and ocean spray and the moon loved her wandering jealously beside the ocean's den she combed her hair singing the nocturne of the passing ships before her earthly lover found her there and kissed away the music from her lips she came into the hills and saw the change that brings the swallow and the geese in turns but there was not a grief she deemed strange for there is that in her which always mourns kind heart she has for all on hill or wave whose hopes grew wings like ants to fly away i bless the god who such a mother gave this poor burnt-hearted singer of a day in the poem this recording is in the public domain song by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson nothing but sweet music wakes my beloved my beloved sleeping by the blue lakes my own beloved song of lark and song of thrush my beloved my beloved sing in morning's rosy hush my own beloved when your eyes dawn blue and clear my beloved my beloved you will find me waiting here my own beloved end of poem this recording is in the public domain To One Dead by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. A blackbird singing on a moss upholstered stone, bluebells swinging, shadows wildly blown, a song in the wood, a ship on the sea. The song was for you, and the ship was for me. A blackbird singing, I hear in my troubled mind, bluebells swinging, I see in a distant wind but sorrow and silence and the woods threnody the silence for you and the sorrow for me end of poem this recording is in the public domain the resurrection by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson my true love still is all that's fair she is flower and blossom blowing free for all her silence lying there she sings a spirit song to me new lovers seek her in her bower the rain the dew the flying wind and tempt her out to be a flower which throws a shadow on my mind in the poem this recording is in the public domain the shadow people by francis ledgewidge 
Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Old lame Bridget doesn't hear fairy music in the grass when the gloaming's on the mere and the shadow people pass. Never hears their slow gray feet coming from the village street just beyond the parson's wall where the clover globes are sweet and the mushroom's parasol opens in the moonlit rain. Every night I hear them call from their long and merry train. Old lame Bridget says to me, It is just your fancy, child. She cannot believe I see laughing faces in the wild, hands that twinkle in the sedge, bowing at the water's edge, where the finny minnows quiver, shaping on a blue wave's ledge, bubble foam to sail the river, and the sunny hands to me beckon ever, beckon ever. Oh, I would be wild and free, and with the shadow people be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In Barracks An Old Desire by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson I searched through memory's lumber room and there i found an old desire i took it gently from the gloom to cherish by my scanty fire and all the night a sweet-voiced one sang of the place my loves abide till earth leaned over from the dawn and hid the last star in her side and often since when most alone i ponder on my old desire but never hear the sweet-voiced one and there are ruins in my fire End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Thomas MacDonough by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. He shall not hear the bittern cry in the wild sky where he is lain, nor voices of the sweeter birds above the wailing of the rain nor shall he know when loud march blows through slanting snows her fanfare shrill blowing to flame the golden cup of many an upset daffodil but when the dark cow leaves the moor and pastures poor with greedy weeds perhaps he'll hear her low at morn lifting her horn in pleasant meads end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Wedding Morning by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Spread the feast, and let there be such music heard as best beseems a king's son coming from the sea to wed a maiden of the streams. Poets pale for long ago bring sweet sounds from rock and flood. You by echo's accent know where the water is and wood. Harpers whom the moths of time bent and wrinkled dusty brown her chains are falling with a chime sweet as bells in heaven town but harpers leave your harps aside and poets leave a while your dreams the storm has come upon the tide and kathleen weeps among her streams end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Blackbirds by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I heard the poor old woman say, At break of day, the fowler came and took my blackbirds from their songs, who loved me all well through shame and blame. No more from lovely distances their songs shall bless me mile by mile, nor to white ashbourne call me down to wear my crown another while. With bended flowers the angels mark, for the skylark the place they lie. From there its little family shall dip their wings first in the sky. And when the first surprise of flight, sweet songs excite from the far dawn, shall there come blackbirds loud with love, sweet echoes of the singers gone. But in the lonely hush of eve, weeping I grieve the silent bills. I hear the poor old woman say, in dairy of the little hills. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
Le Lure by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I saw night leave her halos down on Mytilene's dark mountain isle, the silhouette of one fair town like broken shadows in a pile. And in the farther dawn I heard the music of a foreign bird. In fields of shady angles now I stand and dream in the half-dark. The thrush is on the blossomed bough. Above the echoes sings the lark. And little rivers drop between hills fairer than dark mitylene. Yet something calls me with no voice, and wakes sweet echoes in my mind. In the fair country of my choice, nor peace nor love again I find, nor anything of rest I know when southeast winds are blowing low. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Through Bogok Bon by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I met the silent wandering man. Through Bogok Bon he made his way, humming a slow Irish tune on Joseph Plunkett's wedding day, and all the little whispering things that love the springs of Bogok Bon spread some new rumor round the dark and turned their faces from the dawn. My hand upon my harp I lay, I cannot say what things I know. To meet the silent wandering man of Bogok Bon once more I go. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Fate by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Luf made a stir in the air with his sword of cries, and fairies through hidden ways came from the skies, and their spells withered up the fair and vanquished the wise. An old lame Balor came down with his gorgon eye hidden behind its lid, old, withered, and dry. He looked on the wattle town, and the town passed by. These things I know in my dreams, the crying sword of Lou, the Balor's ancient eye, searching me through, withering up my songs, and my pipe yet new. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evening Clouds by Francis Ledgewidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson A little flock of clouds go down to rest In some blue corner off the moon's highway With shepherd winds that shook them in the west To borrowed shapes of earth in bright array Perhaps to weave a rainbow's gay festoons Around the lonesome isle which Brook has made A little England full of lovely noons or dotted with his country's mountain shade. Ah, little wanderers, when you reach that isle, tell him with dripping dew they have not failed. What he loved most, for late I roamed a while through English fields and down her rivers sailed, and they remember him with beauty caught from old desires of oriental spring, heard in his heart with singing overwrought, and still on pearly common goose boys sing. In the poem. This recording is in the public domain. Song by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. The winds are scented with woods after rain, and a raindrop shines in the daisy its eye. Shall we follow the swallow again, again? Ah, little yearning thing, you and I. You and I to the south again. And heart, oh heart, how shall you sigh for the kind soft wind that follows the rain and the raindrop shed from the daisy's eye. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Herons by Francis Ledgewidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson As I was climbing Arden Moor from the shore of Sheelan Lake, I met the herons coming down before the water's wake. 
and they were talking in their flight of dreamy ways the herons go when all the hills are withered up nor any waters flow end of poem this recording is in the public domain In the Shadows by Francis Ledgewich Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson The silent music of the flowers, wind mingled, shall not fail to cheer the lonely hours when I no more am here. Then in some shady willow place take up the book my heart has made and hide your face against my name which was a shade. In the Poem this recording is in the public domain. The Ships of Arcady by Francis Ledgewidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson Through the faintest filigree over the dim waters go Little ships of Arcady when the morning moon is low. I can hear the sailor's song from the blue edge of the sea Passing like the lights along through the dusky filigree then where moon and waters meet sail by sail they pass away with little friendly winds replete blowing from the breaking day and when the little ships have flown dreaming still of arcady i look across the waves alone in the misty filigree end a poem this recording is in the public domain after by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson and in the after silences of flower-lit distances i'll be and who would find me travels far in lands unsung of minstrelsy strong winds shall cross my secret way and planet mountains hide my goal i shall go on from pass to pass by monstrous rocks a lonely soul End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To One Weeping by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Maiden, these are sacred tears. Let me not disturb your grief. Had I but your bosom's fears, I should weep nor seek relief. My woe is a silent woe, till I give it measured rhyme, when the blackbird's flute is low, and my heart at singing time. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Dream Dance by Francis Ledgewidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson Maybe held a ball in the dune Cuculain and Eimer were there, in the light of the old broken moon. I was dancing with Deidre the fair. How loud was the laughter of Finn as he blundered about through a reel, tripping up Kaolite the thin, or jostling the dreamy Alil. And when the dance ceased for a song, how sweet was the singing of Fand! We could hear her far wandering along, my hand in that beautiful hand. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. By Fawn by Francis Ledgewidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson For hills and woods and streams unsung I pipe above a rippled cove, And here the weaver autumn hung between the hills a wind she wove from sounds the hills remember yet of purple days and violet the hills stand up to trip the sky sea misted and along the tops wing after wing goes summer by and many a little roadway stops and starts and struggles to the sea cutting them up in filigree twixt wind and silence fawn flows in music broken over rocks like mingled bells the poet knows ring in the fields of eastern flocks and here this song for you i find between the silences and the wind end of poem this recording is in the public domain
in september by francis ledwidge read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson still are the meadowlands and still ripens the upland corn and over the brown gradual hill the moon has dipped a horn the voices of the dear unknown with silent hearts now call my rose of youth is overblown and trembles to the fall my song forsakes me like the birds that leave the rain and gray i hear the music of the words my lute can never say end of poem this recording is in the public domain last songs to an old quill of lord dunsany's by francis ledwidge read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson before you leave my hands of muses to lie where many old things meet you neglected darkling of the muses i the last of singers greet you snug in some white wing they found you on the common bleak and muddy noisy goslings gobbling round you in the pools of sunset ruddy have you sighed in wings untravelled for the heights where others view the bluer widths of heaven and marvelled at the utmost top of beauty no it cannot be the soul you sigh with craves nor begs of us from such heights a poet stole you from a wing of pegasus you have been where gods were sleeping in the dawn of new creations ere they woke to woman's weeping and the broken thrones of nations you have seen this old world shattered by old gods at disappointed lying up in darkness battered by wild comets unanointed but for beauty unmolested have you still the sighing olden i know mountains heather crested waters white and waters golden there i'd keep you in the lowly beauty haunts of bird and poet sailing in a wing the holy silences of lakes below it but i'd leave you by where man finds you when i too be gone from the puddles on this common over the dark rubicon londonderry september eighteenth nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain to a sparrow by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson because you have no fear to mingle wings with those of greater part so like me with song i single your sweet impudence of heart and when prouder feathers go where summer holds her leafy show you still come to us from nowhere like gray leaves across the snow in back ways where odd and end go to your meals you drop down sure knowing every broken window of the hospitable poor there is no bird half so harmless none so sweetly rude as you none so common and so charmless none of virtues nude as you but for all your faults i love you for you linger with us still though the wintry winds reprove you and the snow is on the hill londonderry september twentieth nineteen sixteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Old Clow by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I was just coming in from the garden, or about to go fishing for eels, and smiling, I asked you to pardon my boots very low at the heels, and I thought that you never would go as you stood in the doorway ajar for my heart would keep saying old clo you're found out at last as you are i was almost ashamed to acknowledge that i was the quarry you sought for was i not bred in a college and reared in a mansion you thought and now in the latest style cut with fortune more kinder i go to welcome you half ways ah but i was nearer the gods when old clo End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Youth by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org 
by larry wilson she paved the way with perfume sweet of flowers that moved like winds alight and never weary grew my feet wandering through the spring's delight she dropped her sweet life to her lips and lured me with her melodies to where the great big wandering ships put out into the peaceful seas but when the year grew chill and brown and all the wings of summer flown within the tumult of a town she left me to grow old alone in the poem this recording is in the public domain the little children by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson hunger points a bony finger to the workhouse on the hill but the little children linger while there's flowers to gather still for my sunny window sill in my hands i take their faces smiling to my smiles they run would that i could take their places where the murky byways shun the benedictions of the sun how they laugh and sing returning lightly on their secret way while i listen in my yearning their laughter fills the windy day with gladness youth and may end of poem this recording is in the public domain Autumn by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org, by Larry Wilson. Now leafy winds are blowing cold, and south by west the sun goes down. A quiet huddles up the fold in sheltered corners of the brown. Like scattered fire, the wild fruit strews the ground beneath the blowing tree, and there the busy squirrel hews his deep and secret granary. And when the night comes starry clear, the lonely quail complains beside the glistening waters on the mere, where widowed beauties yet abide. And I, too, make my own complaint upon a reed I plucked in June, and love to hear it echoed faint upon another heart in tune. Londonderry, September twenty ninth, nineteen sixteen. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Ireland by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I called you by sweet names by wood and linn. You answered not because my voice was new, and you were listening for the hounds of Finn and the long hosts of Lou. And so I came unto a windy height, and cried my sorrow, but you heard no wind, for you were listening to small ships in flight, and the wail on hills behind. And then I left you, wandering the war, armed with will, from distant goal to goal, to find you at last free as of yore, or die to save your soul. And then you called to us from far and near, to bring your crown from out the deeps of time, it is my grief your voice i couldn't hear in such a distant clime end of poem this recording is in the public domain lady fair by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson lady fair have we not met in our lives elsewhere darkling in my mind to-night faint fair faces dare memory's old unfaithfulness to what was true and fair long of memory is regret but what regret has taken flight through my memory's silences lo i turn it to the light twas but a pleasure in distress too faint and far off for redress but some light glancing in your hair and in the liquid of your eyes seem to murmur old good-byes in our lives elsewhere have we not met lady fair londonderry october twenty seventh nineteen sixteen in the poem this recording is in the public domain at a poet's grave by francis ledgewidge read for LibriVox .org. By Larry Wilson. 
when i leave down this pipe my friend and sleep with flower i love to part my song shall rise in wilding things whose roots are in my heart and here where that sweet poet sleeps i hear the songs he left unsung when winds are fluttering the flowers and summer bells are rung november nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain after court martial by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson my mind is not my mind therefore i take no heed of what men say i lived ten thousand years before god cursed the town of nineveh the present is a dream i see of horror and loud sufferings at dawn a bird will waken me unto my place among the kings and though men called me a vile name and all my dream companions gone tis i the soldier bears the shame not i the king of babylon End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Mother's Song by Francis Ledwidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Little ships of whitest pearl with sailors who were ancient kings come over the sea when my little girl sings. And if my little girl should weep, little ships with torn sails go headlong down among the deep whales november nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain ad corabri by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson every night at corabri little men with leather hats mend the boots of fairy from the tough wings of bats so my mother told me and she is wise you will agree louder than a cricket's wing all night long their hammers glee times the merry songs they sing of ireland glorious and free so i heard joseph plunkett say you know he heard them but last may and when the night is very cold they warm their hands against the light of stars that make the waters gold where they are laboring all the night so pierce said and he knows the truth among the stars he spent his youth and i myself have often heard their singing as the stars went by for am i not of those who reared the banner of old ireland high from dublin town to turkey's shores and where the varder loudly roars December 1916. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Song Time is Over by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I will come no more a while. Song time is over. A fire is burning in my heart i was ever a rover you will hear me no more a while the birds are dumb and a voice in the distance calls come and come december thirteenth nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain una bon by francis ledgewidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Una bond the days are long, and the seas I cross are wide. I must go when Ireland needs, and you must bide. And should I not return to you when the sails are on the tide, tis you will find the days are so long, Una bond, and I must bide. December thirteenth, nineteen sixteen. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spring Love by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I saw her coming through the flowery grass. Round her swift ankles, butterfly and bee, blent loud and silent wings. 
i saw her pass where foam bows shivered on the sunny sea then came the swallow crowding up the dawn and cuckoo echoes filled the dewy south i left my love upon the hill alone my last kiss burning on her lovely mouth b e f december twenty sixth nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain soliloquy by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson when i was young i had a care lest i should cheat me of my share of that which makes it sweet to strive for life and dying still survive a name in sunshine written higher than lark or poet dare aspire but i grew weary doing well besides twas sweeter in that hell down with the loud banditti people who robbed the orchards climbing the steeple for jackdaw's eggs and made the cock crow ere twas daylight on the dock i was so very bad the neighbors spoke to me at their daily labors and now i'm drinking wine in france the helpless child of circumstance to-morrow will be loud with war how will i be accounted for it is too late now to retrieve a fallen dream too late to grieve a name unmade but not too late to thank the gods for what is great a keen-edged sword a soldier's heart is greater than a poet's art and greater than a poet's fame a little grave that has no name end of poem this recording is in the public domain dawn by francis ledgewidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson quiet miles of golden sky and in my heart a sudden flower i want to clap my hands and cry for beauty in her secret bower quiet golden miles of dawn smiling all the east along and in my heart night fully blown a little rosebud of a song End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Keel Shea by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. When May is here and every morn is dappled with pied bells, and dewdrops glance along the thorn, and wings flash in the dells, I take my pipe and play a tune of dreams, a whispered melody for feet that dance beneath the moon in fairy jollity. And when the pastoral hills are gray and the dim stars are spread, a scamper fills the grass like play of feet where fairies tread. And many a little whispering thing is calling to the she, the dewy bells of evening ring, and all is melody. France, December twenty ninth. 1916. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Rushes by Francis Ledgewidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. The rushes nod by the river as the winds on the loud waves go, and the things they nod of are many for it's many the secrets they know. And I think they are wise as the fairies who lived ere the hills were high. They nod so grave by the river to everyone passing by. If they would tell me their secrets, I would go by a hidden way, to the wrath when the moon retiring dips dim horns into the grey, and a fairy girl out of Leinster in a long dance I should meet, my heart to her heart beating, my feet in rhyme with her feet. France, January sixth, nineteen seventeen. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dead Kings by Francis Ledgewidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. All the dead kings came to me at Rosnery, where I was dreaming. 
a few stars glimmered through the morn and down the thorn the dews were streaming and every dead king had a story of ancient glory sweetly told it was too early for the lark but the starry dark had tints of gold i listened to the sorrows three of that ere passed into song a cock crowed near a hazel croft and up aloft dim larks winged strong and i too told the kings a story of later glory her fourth sorrow there was a sound like moving shields and high green fields and the lowland furrow and one said we who yet are kings have heard these things lamentingly sweet music flowed from many a bill and on the hill the morn stood queenly and one said over is the ringing and the bell bell ringing whence we come with heavy hearts we'll tread the shadows in honey meadows birds are dumb and one said since the poets perished and all they cherished in the way their thoughts unsung like petal showers inflame the hours of blue and gray and one said a loud tramp of men will hear again at rosnery a bomb burst near me where i lay i woke twas day in picardy france january seventh nineteen seventeen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In France by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. The silence of maternal hills is round me in my evening dreams, and round me music making bills and mingling waves of pastoral streams whatever way i turn i find the path is old and to me still the hills of home are in my mind and there i wander as i will february third nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain had i a golden pound by francis ledgwick read for LibriVox .org by larry wilson had i a golden pound after the irish had i a golden pound to spend my love should mend and sow no more and i would buy her a little kern easy to turn on the kitchen floor and for her windows curtains white with birds in flight and flowers in bloom to face with pride the road of town and mellow down her sunlit room and with the silver change would prove the truth of love to life's own end with hearts the years could but embolden had i a golden pound to spend february fifth nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain fairies by francis ledgwidge read for librivox .org by larry wilson maiden poet come with me to the heaped-up cairn of maeve and there we'll dance a fairy dance upon a fairy's grave in and out among the trees filling all the night with sound the morning strung upon her star shall chase us round and round what are we but fairies too living but in dreams alone or at the most but children still innocent and overgrown february sixth nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain in a cafe by francis ledgwidge read for librivox .org by larry wilson kiss the maid and pass her round lips like hers were made for many our loves are far from us to-night but these red lips are sweet as any let no empty glass be seen aloof from our good table sparkle as the acme of our cheer here are franks to keep the circle they are far who miss us most sip and kiss how well we love them battling through the world to keep their hearts at peace their god above them february eleventh nineteen seventeen end of poem 
This recording is in the public domain. Spring by Francis Ledwidge, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Once more the lark, with song and speed, cleaves through the dawn. His hurried bars fall like the flute of Ganymede, twirling and whistling from the stars. The primrose and the daffodil surprise the valleys, and wild thyme is sweet on every little hill, when lambs come down at folding time. In every wild place now is heard the magpie's noisy house, and through the mingled tunes of many a bird the ruffled wood dove's gentle coo. Sweet by the river's noisy brink the water lily bursts her crown, the kingfisher comes down to drink like rainbow jewels falling down, and when the blue and gray entwine, the daisy shuts her golden eye, and peace wraps all those hills of mine safe in my dearest memory france march eighth nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain pan by francis ledwidge read for librivox dot org by larry wilson he knows the safe ways and unsafe and he will lead the lambs to fold gathering them with his merry pipe, the gentle and the overbold. He counts them over one by one, and leads them back by cliff and steep to grassy hills where dawn is wide, and they may run and skip and leap. And just because he loves the lambs, he settles them for rest at noon, and plays them on his oaten pipe, a very wonder of a tune. France, March 11th, 1917 End of Poem this recording is in the public domain. With Flowers by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson These have more language than my song. Take them and let them speak for me. I whispered them a secret thing Down the green lanes of Allery. You shall remember quiet ways Watching them fade and quiet eyes and two hearts given up to love, a foolish and an overwise. France, April 1917. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Find by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I took a reed and blew a tune. And sweet it was, and very clear, to be about a little thing that only few hold dear. Three times the cuckoo named himself, but nothing heard him on the hill, where I was piping like an elf. The air was very still. Twas all about a little thing. I made a mystery of sound. I found it in a fairy ring, upon a fairy mound. June 2nd. 1917. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Fairy Hunt by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Who would hear the fairy horn calling all the hounds of Finn? Must be in a lark's nest born when the moon is very thin. I, who have the gift, can hear hounds and horn and tally-ho, and the tongue of Bran as clear as Christmas bells across the snow. And beside my secret place hurries by the fairy fox, with the moonrise on his face, up and down the mossy rocks. Then the music of a horn and the flash of scarlet men, thick as poppies in the corn, all across the dusky glen. Oh, the mad delight of chase! O oh, the shouting and the cheer! Many an owl doth leave his place in the dusty tree to hear. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To One Who Comes Now and Then by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson When you come in, 
it seems a brighter fire crackles upon the hearth invitingly the household routine which was wont to tire grows full of novelty you sit upon our home upholstered chair and talk of matters wonderful and strange of books and travel customs old which dare the gods of time and change till we with inner word our care refute laughing that this our bosoms yet assails while there are maidens dancing to a flute in andalusian vales and sometimes from my shelf of poems you take and secret meanings to our hearts disclose as when the winds of june and mid bush shake we see the hidden rose and when the shadows muster and each tree a moment flutters full of shutting wings you take the fiddle and mysteriously wake wonders on the strings and in my garden gray with misty flowers low echoes fainter than a beetle's horn fill all the corners with it like sweet showers of bells in the owl's morn come often friend and welcome and surprise we'll greet you from the sea or from the town come when you like and from whatever skies above you smile or frown belgium july twenty second nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Sylph by Francis Ledwidge, read for LibriVox.org, by Larry Wilson. I saw you, and I named a flower that lights with blue woodland space. I named a bird of the red hour and a hidden fairy place. And then I saw you not, and you dead leaves were whirling down the mist, and something lost was crying through an evening of amethyst. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Home by Francis Ledwidge. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. A burst of sudden wings at dawn, faint voices of a dreamy noon. Evenings of mist and murmurings, and nights with rainbows of the moon. And through these things a woody way dim and waters dim and slow sheep seen on uphill paths that wind away through summer sounds and harvest green this is a song a robin sang this morning on a broken tree it was about the little fields that call across the world to me belgium july nineteen seventeen in the poem this recording is in the public domain The Lanon She by Francis Ledwidge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson Powdered in perfume, the full bee winged heavily across the clover, and where the hills were dim with dew, purple and blue, the west leaned over. A willow spray dipped in the stream, moving a gleam of silver ringing, and by a finny creek a maid filled all the shade with softest singing listening my heart and soul at strife on the edge of life i seemed to hover for i knew my love had come at last that my joy was past and my gladness over i tiptoed gently up and stooped above her looped and shining tresses i asked her of her kin and name and why she came from fairy places she told me of a sunny coast beyond the most adventurous sailor where she had spent a thousand years out of the fears that now a sailor and there she told me honey drops out of the tops of ash and willow and in the mellow shadow sleep doth sweetly keep her poppy pillow nor autumn with her brown line marks the time of larks the length of roses but song time there is over never nor flower time ever ever closes and wildly through uncurling ferns fast water turns down valleys singing filling with scented winds the dales setting the bells of sleep a-ringing and when the thin moon slowly sinks through cloudy chinks a silver glory lingers upon the left of night till dawn delights the meadows hoary and by the lakes the skies are white oh the delight when swans are coming among the flowers 
sweet joy bells peal and quick bees wheel in drowsy humming the squirrel leaves her dusty house and in the bough makes fearless gambol and falling down in fire drops red the fruit is shed from every bramble then gathered all about the trees glad galaxies of youth are dancing treading their perfume of flowers filling the hours with mazy glancing and when the dance is done the trees are left to peace and the brown woodpecker and on the western slopes of sky the day's blue eye begins to flicker but at the sighing of the leaves when all earth grieves for lights departed an ancient and sad desire steals in to tire the human-hearted no fairy aid can save them now nor turn their prow upon the ocean the hundred years that missed each heart above them start their wheels in motion and so our loves are lost she sighed and far and wide we seek new treasure for who on time or timeless hills can live the ills of loveless leisure fairer than usna's youngest son o oh, my poor one what flower-bed holds you or wrecked upon the shores of home what wave of foam with white enfolds you you rode with kings on hills of green and lovely queens have served you banquet sweet wine from berries bruise they brought and shyly sought the lips which drank it but in your dim grave of the sea there shall not be a friend to love you and ever heedless of your loss the earth ships cross the storms above you and still the chase goes on and still the wine shall spill and vacant places be given over to the new as love untrue keeps changing faces and i must wander with my song far from the young till love returning brings me the beautiful reward of some heart stirred by my long yearning friend have you heard a bird lament when sleet is sent for april weather as beautiful she told her grief as down through leaf and flower i led her and friend could i remain unstirred without a word for such a sorrow say can the lark forget the cloud when poppy shroud the seed did furrow like a poor widow whose late grief seeks for relief in lonely byways the moon companionless and dim took her dull rim through starless highways i was too weak with dreams to feel enchantment steal with guilt upon me she slipped a flower upon the wind and laughed to find how she had won me from hill to hill from land to land her lovely hand is beckoning for me i follow on through dangerous zones cross dead men's bones and oceans stormy some day i know she'll wait at last and lock me fast in white embraces and down mysterious ways of love we too shall move to fairy places Belgium, July 1917. In the poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of the complete poems of Francis Ledgwick.